One of the things I find fascinating about quantum mechanics is that how it completely changes the fields of classical information theory and classical computation. For instance, there are problems that you can solve on a quantum computer in many, many fewer steps than you can solve on a classical computer. And one of these is the factoring algorithm, which can be solved in roughly n cubed time on a quantum computer, where n is the number of bits of the number you want to factor, but it takes an exponentially long time on a classical computer. So, how does a quantum computer work? Well, it's essentially a physics experiment. Instead of bits, which can either be zero or one and live in a classical computer, a quantum computer runs on qubits, which are two-level quantum systems, which can either be zero or one, or some superposition of zero and one. And they also can be entangled and can interfere with each other and um, have all the properties of quantum systems. So the way the quantum factoring algorithm works is you take, uh, you take the number you want to be factor, and you can turn, using number theory, the problem into a problem of finding the period of a really long sequence. And then you use the, the quantum computer as a computational interferometer. So if you shine light through a diffraction grating, it gives you a pattern which tells you the spacing of the grating. So we have a periodic pattern, and we put the information through a computational interferometer, which gives you the period. And once you have the period, you can use number theory on a classical computer to factor the number.